Hey everyone, so I started shuffling and these two cards popped out. Remember, if you guys came to this reading out of nowhere as it was on your For You page, it's probably for a reason. And if the title resonates, then there's probably something in here for you. Maybe the whole reading may not resonate, but maybe some parts may help. So you got orphaned and you have why. Some of you guys feel like the people that were closest to you have left you, have walked away. This could be your parents. This could be, like, even if they were there, like, maybe they didn't treat you, like, as if you were, like, another human being or important or as if, like, your feelings mattered. I just feel like you felt so alone. You guys could have been, like, single child, you know? I just feel like maybe with with this and then, like, it's just, like, I feel like it trickles down. So it's, like, you might have friends in your life. They just didn't do right by you. Then they, you know, like, then you have, like, exes and lovers. It's just, like, I feel like you feel like everybody that you get close to leaves. And you're wondering why. Even this dude is kind of, like, hanging out the same way that she is. Like, kind of just, like, hunched over. Some of you guys may be, like, really upset, have been crying a lot, you know? The Two of Wands. I just feel like you guys are planning for a different future. Okay, maybe you guys are planning on traveling, or maybe you guys are planning on moving to a new place in your life just to get away from, like, the scenery to start brand new. The Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you guys have been working on your abandonment issues. Maybe you guys have a hard time getting close to people because every time you get close to someone, somebody leaves. You guys may have also had a lot of people who've passed on, people that you were very close to, people that you relied on for guidance or just, you know, and I just feel like you guys just feel so alone. And it's like, why does everything always happen to me like this? You have the sun, the eight of pentacles in the sun. That's a good thing. So whatever it is that you guys have been through in your past, it's like you're really working hard. You're trying to stay optimistic. I feel like you guys are just this natural, like, fun-loving person. But, like, on the end side, like, I don't know if people really understand how deeply that you've been hurt in the past. And I, do, I, I feel like you guys have a good way of not showing that you're suffering. Like, you put on a smile. You put on a bright face, right, for everybody else. But on the end side, you guys may feel so torn. The Four of Pentacles is your challenge. I feel like you guys are still holding a grudge or holding something against somebody from your past. Okay. The Five of Swords. I just feel like you guys felt so challenged in the past. You felt like there were everybody was against you. People didn't understand you. People pushed you away. You know, I just feel like in the Page of Swords, like you always felt like you had to prove yourself. People also may have always never believed you, but you were the one that always told the truth. You know, I just feel like you were, like, maybe you were, you felt like you were shut down. You were not able to speak your truth. Like, you felt so small. People made you feel really small. You could have been very shy or just very quiet. Tried not to be the center of attention. I feel like that's changing, though, because your current energy with the Eight of Pentacles and the Sun, it's like you are getting a lot of attention or you're standing out. People are noticing you. Okay, this could have also been like in the past, maybe you guys like always got rejected or pushed away or just like, I don't know, people didn't pay attention to you, but now it's completely changing, right? It's like the Ace of Swords as I'm saying that, which means I'm speaking the truth. I feel like you guys see clearly too as well. Five of Swords, Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. You see right through people's intentions. Like you don't have to get to know somebody for too long for you to see if you're going to like them or not. You're somebody who's very authentic. You're somebody that you're not going to hide yourself and who you are for nothing and no one. You're always yourself regardless. Then you have the three of cups. So even though your past was difficult, you are making sure that your future is not going to be the same. Right? I just feel like there's a breakthrough that's came through. And it's just like you went from the page to the ace too as well. Like look at this. You went from feeling like you had no voice to like feeling like not even important to like, I don't care who the hell, you know, or what the hell other people think of me. I'm still going to be myself. I'm speaking my truth. I'm being my authentic self. Like the right ones are going to stay, you know, and the wrong ones, they'll leave. You have a judgment card. I feel like maybe in the past you were always worried about people judging you. The way that people saw you, the, if people were talking shit or if people didn't like what you were doing. That's no longer a thing. The Knight of Cups. You guys are headed in a new direction here. Spirit is protecting you. Spirit is literally pushing you towards this new path here. So what's coming in for you? 
the Ten of Wands, that's a good thing because the Ten of Wands, he's going home and he has all of these wands, right? And like his house is right over that hill. So like you guys are a lot closer to some type of goal than you even think, all right? And all of these burdens are going to be put to rest. It's like you're taking all of these things that weighed you down to go take it home and burn it, right? It's like... I'm just literally seeing him like shove it in a fireplace and burn it. So everything that you were literally like carrying all the weight, all the guilt, all the blame, all the hurt that you've been through, all the things that people have said to you, made you feel about yourself, like put you down. This could have been your parents that were like too hard on you, always made you do everything around the house. If you didn't have good grades, it was just like, you know, the two of swords. Like I felt like you just couldn't be yourself. I'm so happy that this is changing for you guys because I feel like there's a new sense of like love for yourself. Like you guys are, it's like these people wanted to bring you down. People wanted to shut you up, wanted to, you know, not let you talk. There also might be people that like, if this is your family, like they don't want you to speak about what's happened when you were younger, but I feel like nobody can silence you anymore. Whoever these people were that done wrong to you, whether this is your family, exes, or whatever, it's like they do not want you gossiping about what they've done. They could have really, yeah, the Four of Cups, they want you to leave it alone. They want you to move on from it. I just feel like you guys don't care. Like, you guys are going to start speaking your, tr your truth, or maybe you guys have a story to tell. Some of you guys could be, like, writing a book. But I do feel like you're holding on to this pain it doesn't show you don't show it to other people i feel like people would be shocked to know that you have been through so much shit you hold it very well you're very strong you're very resilient you know you are not somebody that gets broken down easily this has made you very tough it's making it's made you very strong there could be people that are watching you okay just making sure that you don't like spread gossip Whoever's done wrong by you, it's like they don't want you to tell them this. They don't want you to tell other people this. You know, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of things that you were silenced of, now you're able to speak. Like, you're not going to be silenced anymore. The Knight of Pentacles. You did too much work for you to go backwards. You did too much work on yourself for you to let this keep on dragging you down. You guys are very, very resilient. Like I said, you are not backing down for nothing. So I want to see how you view yourself. The six of pentacles, you're a giver, you're a nurturer. You're somebody that loves to help other people. You may do like things for charity or maybe you donate or anytime, you know, you're paying at the store and it's like asking you if you want to put like a dollar tip or whatever. I feel like you guys always donate. You always try to give something back. I just feel like you guys know what it feels like to not have anything, to not have a lot. You could have also been very sick. As a kid, five of swords, page of swords, right? I just feel like there's so much change, so many things that are going on for you that are much better than you've ever been in the past. And the empress, yes, you're a huge nurturer. You're like the mother, the one that takes care of everybody. Even if you're a male, you're the one that makes sure everybody's good, okay? Like, the, you just have this mothering, nurturing, um, comfortable energy that, like, anybody feels safe with. Okay, you are somebody that if you have something to offer, like if, if somebody needs something, that's what I meant to say, like you will offer, you know, I just feel like you're very like into being generous and helping, maybe even helping the community or helping people find jobs or things or helping people with money. You may also cook and like bring it for like the homeless or something. You know that you're a catch you, with the empress. You're all the queens in one. How do other people view you? The Three of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. Going through a major change. People are watching you close out cycles and become somebody that's brand new. Okay? You are also destined for greatness. People see you taking leaps um, towards things that maybe they thought that you would never do. Maybe you've been like traveling, like I was saying, because the Three of Wands is an adventure card. Maybe you guys love to travel the world, see um, different sceneries. I just feel like you have so much opportunities for success. You have so much potential for, it's 
it's like success is in your destiny. Okay? All the things that you have been through in the past has literally made you so strong that nothing's going to break you down and nothing's going to stop you from what's des from what's destined for you. This is your guidance, the strength card. Remain strong, remain resilient. That's what you're doing. I feel like you're doing what you need to do already. Okay, be brave. Focus. And then you have the seven of pentacles. This is about planting seeds and nurturing it. And while it's growing, staying strong and giving it time to grow, not rushing things, okay? Taking your time with things. I feel like you're headed towards like, uh, a new life like some of you guys are moving to like a whole new city or a new state or so, like I said some of you guys are just making a complete change in of your whole life like you are no longer the person that you used to be and you're no longer going to be stuck in the same energy that you used to be you guys have grown you're taking your power back so this is the outcome the queen of wands the five of cups and the eight of swords you're taking your power back but I do feel like a lot of you guys are focused on failure or something not going your way. You guys may have a problem with like overthinking or stressing out and not really trusting yourself, okay? Or not really trusting that like you're going to end up in a good place. Stay strong, okay? Stay strong. If you catch yourself thinking negatively, switch it to a positive, okay? You can shift the energy just that easily. It's 11.33 when I said that. The Knight of Swords, this is about seizing the moment, some of you guys are so angry over the past. You're still holding on to that. You're still dwelling on that. Even though it's not holding you back, it's still something that you're suffering from. You might be angry about it. And the magician. Let's see what you're manifesting. The hermit in reverse. Isolation. Some of you guys are isolating yourself again. Okay? Or, I mean... If you're isolating so you can heal, good. But if you're isolating because you don't want to get hurt, that's you got to give people a chance, okay? I mean, when you're ready. I'm not trying to tell you guys just open up and just allow anybody in. No, you got to like really get a chance to get to know somebody, but I'll at least give it a chance, okay? Because I feel like some of you guys are like really, I see one, two, three, four, have this... Um, to where it's like you guys are pushing people away from you. You'd rather be alone because you're not going to hurt yourself. You don't trust other people with your heart. People always leave you disappointed. People always leave you heartbroken. Left, leave you wondering why. You know? And then you end up regretting like when you go for things and you allow people into your life. The King of Swords. So what I would say is that see people for who they truly are, not how you're hoping that they're going to be. Okay, like what I mean by that is like when you meet somebody and everything feels so good, but like it's brand new, don't automatically assume that this is going to be the one for you. See them for who they truly are. Whatever they're showing you at that time is a reflection of what you're going to get for the future. If this person's not messaging you back, if this person um, doesn't answer certain questions, you know, I just seen 1331, pay attention, okay, um, to these things. Actions speak a lot louder to words than words and make sure this person's actions are aligning with what the things that they told you. If they're telling you things and they never fulfill it, do not go trusting that this person's going to fulfill anything else that they tell you. Okay? And let's just get one more card. The Seven of Cups. You have so many different opportunities coming in for you. You have a Seven of Cups with the Moon. As I was, as I was talking about an illusion, I was about to, the Moon comes. I think there's opportunities that are coming in for you that you actually may end up rejecting because of fear, because of confusion and not knowing what the outcome is going to be. But if you don't give things a chance, you're never really going to know where they could end up. Do not let fear or sorry, try not to let fear block you from giving something a chance. OK, maybe you guys don't want to go for a certain position because you've been rejected before maybe you guys don't want to have another relationship because you've been brokenhearted or maybe you don't want to have any friends because the last friend that you have 
literally done so wrong by you and it's like so you keep this wall up and that's a lonely life and i feel like spirit really wants you to open your heart and you know it's it's important to have boundaries but healthy boundaries you know you you don't want the walls so high up to where like nobody can even look over and you know it's like the nosy neighbor <laughs> like nobody can like get in and then like you know when it's too hard to get through to somebody usually people will give up so it's really important for you if you want to at least have somebody in your life to have healthy boundaries <clears throat> okay of course not everybody's willing to come in and treat you right but when you see that they're not treating you right then make a decision to walk away from these people don't keep those people around all right hoping that they're going to be somebody that you want them to be you know so anyway i'm going to pull one of these cards and just see a little you have healing i feel like you guys do need to heal from this orphaned um abandonment feeling alone and keeping yourself alone type feeling all right you have passion you have finding i feel like you guys are finding yourself again and confidence you're finding passion you're finding confidence i feel like you guys are starting to like I said, and you have travel. I was picking up on that earlier. Like some of you guys are traveling. Now, it doesn't mean like physically traveling, but you guys are traveling in a way to where your soul is evolving. Okay, so let's just say that. But you guys are finding maybe something new has sparked your interest. Maybe you guys have found a new um, sense of self or more self-love. I feel like you guys are becoming more confident. You know, I do feel like you, you will start releasing these walls sooner or later, okay? Because I do feel like you're going to come to a point where you do feel lonely and you just really want somebody to love, right? Just make sure you're not letting people take advantage of you, okay? That's all. And you have new beginnings, too, as well as I'm putting my cards back. And it kind of looks like a chapter in a book or something, right? Like this door... To me, I feel like there's a new door that's opening up for you. There's an opportunity for you to take it, but don't let that fear and all of those negative thoughts start crowding up your brain and then it makes it and then it kind of makes you chicken out, okay? So, there's this new opportunity that's coming in for you and I've seen loyal heart and thinker and here and now so this could be something that happens for you right now like soon 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 take some time to think about it before you go ahead and automatically reject it okay get some time to get to know who this is or get to you know give it a chance i hope this helps and if it does please like and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon toodles